Hello, good Christian people out there. I want everybody just to listen for a moment because there's a war going on against Christianity. We need all the good Christian people of faith to come together and start praying right now because the homosexuals are are trying to get rights. They're, they're trying to marry each other. They're trying to spread their vile affections into our homes and trying to force us to accept what they believe. And when it's right there in the Bible, it's homosexuality is wrong. The Bible is right. And we need to stand for the Bible and vote and make laws according to our beliefs. We need to stand for what's right and that is the Bible. Right now, we can't do too much for these homosexuals because of their depraved mind, as the Bible says. They're, they're an abomination. So there's not too much we can do but pray for their souls that they be delivered. But as we know, most of these homosexuals are demon-possessed by gay demons, and they are unable to see the error of their ways. So just pray for their souls. We may not be able to keep them from having sex, and we may not be able to keep them from being in disgusting relationships with man on man, females uh, being in a relationship with females. But we can keep the law from uh, giving them legal uh, rights. We can keep them from having legitimate legal relationships according to the government. Why? Because the Bible says it's right. The Bible says that, that homosexuality is wrong. So we should do everything in our power to fight against homosexuality and to keep them from having uh, rights like other couples and other heterosexual couples in America. If homosexual, hom homosexuals and gays, if they want to have a uh, marriage the nation marry heterosexual people. It's only what's right. Only heterosexual people should be married. So if a homosexual wants uh, marriage rights, then they should marry a heterosexual person. It's common sense. God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. We should vote to arrest people for being homosexuals and only release them after they receive Jesus. We should do the same for fornicators. We should arrest anybody who is a fornicator because fornication is a sin as well. And until people repent and accept Jesus, then we release them. If we, if, if we get together and make laws concerning our virgin daughters, and if they lose their virginity without the permission of their father, then that, that young man should be arrested. No matter if he's 13, 14, 15, he should be arrested and, and convicted of a crime. The Bible says, Homosexuality is wrong, fornication is wrong, and a lot of other things are wrong. And we need to start putting this into American law, people, because it's what's right and it's what's good. And if we don't do what God tells us to do, we're going to end up like Sodom and Gomorrah. So I love you, and I pray for you, and I thank you for listening. If you haven't figured out by now, everything I said is bullshit. There are people who believe that homosexual are demon possessed. There are people who believe that laws should be made against people who are not Christian and that anything that's not Christian is wrong. Even though we live in America and everybody's not Christian. We have Jews, we have Muslims, we have atheists, we have a lot of people. At one point, I used to believe I used to be Christian, and I used to believe just like that, because I was taught that way. But I was taught that everything that wasn't in the Bible was wrong. Everything that people believed outside of the Bible was wrong, and anybody who didn't believe the Bible was sinful and wrong, and they were going to hell. So really, it didn't matter what they thought, because they were damned anyway. As much as I was fighting against people who had homosexual thoughts and beliefs or other beliefs other than mine, I would not admit that deep down, secretly, I had same-sex desires. I would admit that deep down, secretly, I was going out looking for guys that I didn't want to admit that. I was fighting other people 
because I was fighting myself. I was ashamed of myself, all because of religion. I didn't even want to admit to myself that I liked other guys, even though I was doing it. And maybe you're like that too. You have feelings that you can't even deal with. And because of that, because you don't want to deal with your own feelings, you have to put laws and, and rules against other people because you can't be free. So if you can't be free, no one can be free. But here's a news flash. Just because you're in hell doesn't mean everybody else has to be. Live your life, free your mind. Because your life is all you have. Think about it. If you don't do it, then who will? Peace out.